Good morning, guys. Okay. So, oh, I've had a bit of a, a week this week. Um, from little man being sick to my mom surprising me with a visit, which was really nice considering I haven't seen my mom in... I think it's two months now <laughs> so it was really really nice to see her so Wednesday my mom was here which was lovely she got to spend time with Matt I got to spend time with her it was fantastic it was really really nice and then Thursday I woke up and I had, oh, I had all these plans in place I got washing in the machine the little man was sleeping I got stuff done and I thought okay when he wakes up I'll come in here and I'll then video the, the whole doing of his cupboard and rearranging this and then he started with a fever at about midday on Thursday and I thought oh, it's not so bad you know I'm sure it's just his teeth he's been teething really really badly I'll just give him I gave him like a mill of Panado and I thought he'll be fine he then fell asleep within like an hour of waking up also again refused to fall asleep anywhere but with me so i couldn't come and do this either just to have shame hubby come back later and then little man just got warmer and i thought okay let's give him some more panado and we then i didn't go i didn't sleep in the bed that night i stayed in the lounge with him in the pram so that hubby could sleep because hubby hadn't slept very well on thursday so i thought let him sleep he still has to work on friday um, at least I don't have to work. Woke up, his fever was still there. He was still very grumpy. He wasn't really feeding that well. He was still feeding, but just not as well as he usually does. And yeah, that was just, yeah, I wasn't so good. Eventually, I think, okay, this isn't clearly just teething anymore. This is definitely something else. I need to get, to, get into a doctor. Call his doctor's office. No, nope, his doctor's not in. He's, he's on... Uh, extended leave which I think is because his doctor is over like in his 60s so I think it's the whole COVID thing he's not working I'm like okay so I called our GP our GP has just closed her offices for the day that at, uh, at that point um, I'm like, oh my gosh so now of course I'm stressing we've got a really nice nurse on like whatsapp so my husband gets hold of her she goes no definitely take him to a doctor with his fever and stuff he needs to you know be checked out and see what's wrong so we eventually find a doctor not at the hospital we usually go to but we find one they have an appointment we need to get there in the next 20 minutes so i get up i get dressed i get baby dressed he's very unhappy uh we get him into the car and we drive to the hospital we get there like just at 20 minutes <laughs> They of course do the whole check on us before we go in, check for um, fever on us, and then check fever on baby. I mean, obviously baby's got a fever, it's why we're here. I have to fill in forms and stuff eventually, and this place is also three stories up, so I have to walk three stories up for the car seat. Um, get up to the office, very nice. I'm very glad they were able to squeeze us in. Doctor checks him out and he has an inner ear infection. I'm like, how on earth does a baby get an inner ear infection that hasn't gone outside or been, you know, in like any sort of cold weather? And I've been very like cautious not to get anything like in his ears or anything like that. Turns out doctor says no, it's from breastfeeding. I was like, but you know, I, my milk doesn't leak out. She goes, no, it's from him lying flat when he feeds he needs to be at like a 45 degree angle when he feeds because there's something <clears throat> actually inside his throat that hasn't closed up yet or something and the milk actually leaks in there and goes into his ear and that causes infections and I'm like well I didn't know this I don't even know how many of you moms even know that that that's even possible so of course now I'm making sure he's feeding upright he's much better today much happier chappy today um, the meds are working he hates the antibiotics hates them ah, but what can I do um so yeah that's a struggle and I have to give it to him twice a day once in the morning and then once in the evening after feeding um we haven't given him an empanado since last night sometime which is great he's got no more fever uh we've got a nasal spray for him which we're using that's sort of we're using on and off and yeah so we'll, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, that's why it's taking me so long to get to doing what I'm doing. 
Um, at the moment, my hubby is watching Little Man um, so that I can get this done. Just so that you other moms know that, yeah, life does not always go the way you plan it to and things don't always go the way you plan it to and with a little one, as you know, sometimes you just can't get stuff done. <laughs> But yeah, so thanks to Hubby looking after him today, I can quickly film this for you guys and show you how I sort everything out and we'll be putting everything away. Obviously, I'm not going to be giving clothes away or selling clothes because we are planning on having another one. So these will just be put away for uh, storage until we fall pregnant again, <laughs> which hopefully won't be too much longer, but that depends on what goes on with us and the world. I said I just want to sort this cupboard out, take all the newborn stuff out of it and then I want to sort this out here because yeah as I said he's getting too long now and so I just want to move this against the wall that way and then just rearrange everything so it just works works for me um yeah so that's basically it I'm going to then put away the washing from the other day and then put another load of his washing on because his basket is full again I don't know how he goes through that much clothing. <laughs> so I know all of the stuff in his shelves is already sorted. This is definitely only um, zero to three and three to six months that's left in there. I think the only newborn stuff I have is up here and this is all mixed. So I don't know what is zero to three and what is three to six. So this is what I'm mainly going to be sorting out today. Because this is all sorted, all his zero to three is in the front and his bigger stuff is at the back. And I'm going to be packing his newborn stuff into this bag because we're not going to be using it. Um, so yeah, everything will be put into here and yeah, stored away. the divider for now is this lovely hooded batman towel we got which obviously we only going to use for him for when he starts swimming but i'll use that as my divider for now these are all my extra hangers which is nice i'll put them here on the drying rack so now i know all of this stuff this side of the towel is for zero to three months which he's got a lot of and then all of this stuff this side of the towel is all his three to six months stuff um there are some of the things that he is starting to grow out of um i think what i'll do is as i get too small for him i'll just fold them up and put them away The nice thing about this leather top is it wipes down super easy, which is one of the reasons I wanted this on top. And thanks to my brother-in-law and my husband, yeah, they put this on top of my, on top of the change mat. And then this as well is actually also like a leathery type fabric as well on the drawers and on the door as well. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to move his mat like this. And then we'll keep this one here next to him because obviously this is what I use often as well as the bun cream. Okay, I'm going to use a little basket like this and I'm going to put a few nappies in here. That way then there's always nappies here in the drawer. Enjoy. You can get a fair amount in this little thing. 
casual, so it's easily accessible, so I can just change it and grab a nappy out of here. Um, for now, I think I'm also going to move some of these blocks up in here because I don't think that gap's big enough for his bath to go on, and I'm hoping, hoping that my dad is able to come through this week with his um, bath ring so we can stop bathing him in the big bath. Can easily step in here and change him without worrying about him bumping his head on the wall. But that was the problem with it having it this way was he's so tall he's pushing his legs up against my stomach and then knocking his head into the wall so we have to put something behind it. But I think like this will be fine. Got his change stuff here. I know the table looks super empty right now <laughs> compared to what it did look like. But you really don't need a lot on a change table like this. You literally need the stuff you're changing the most and that's it. Obviously this stuff is here and not here because I'm short and cannot reach over there. And I'm one who changes it more than he dad does. Okay, so you guys saw, I packed everything away, got everything sorted. His change mat is now sorted and ready to be used for when he needs it. We both got a fairly decent night's sleep. We try to keep him in his routine. Obviously, we haven't given him a bath because with him being sick and with it being cold, I don't want to compromise his immune system even more by cooling him down too much. So I think tonight will be the first night we bath him again properly. Um, we haven't bathed him properly in like two nights, so yeah. Yesterday, uh, we went to the shops quickly. We just quickly went up to our local um, checkers and just got a few groceries that we needed because we were running low. Hey guys, so it is now Saturday. Little man's feeling much better. The medicine the doctor gave him made him feel much, much better today, which I'm very grateful for. We got a bit of a better night's sleep last night. Um, I unfortunately did not get to cleaning and sorting out like I wanted to today because yeah, we just took a bit of a break day. We also, as you can see, we went out again. We needed some groceries for the house. Um, yeah, we got some of that done and now we're on our way home again. And yeah, I'll try to get the sorting done tomorrow. Hopefully I will. Now then we can sort out his room, I can film it and get it up for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, little man was starting to feel a bit better there. Um, yeah, so it wasn't so bad. It was just two days of not being able to get done what I wanted to get done or to get filming done. I got a bit more information on what's going on with regards to my school and stuff, which was nice. I sort of don't feel quite as in the dark as I was like a while ago. Um, unfortunately still no data when we get to go back which sucks so much but hey what can you do oh other exciting news I got new equipment for my phone as you'll notice in these videos my sound will sound better because my hubby got me a really nice little mic let me see if I can show you guys I'll take it off here so here is my nice new little mic as you can see here a little jack going into the phone and then he got me this little uh, tripod as well which I'm using to put the mic onto my um, my big tripod as well and then I also use it on my handheld uh, device as well I just wrap it on and it works really nicely like that then um, and this is the Boya BYMM1 just in case anyone's wondering i'll of course put links down below we got this again from take lot as well as the stand the stand i don't remember what it was like i said i'll put all the descriptions and everything will be in the description below of what i've gotten as well as this we had a bit of an issue with this though um let's open it up and see if we can show you so you can see in here let's see if i can get it to focus It doesn't seem to want to focus now. Okay, but in here where that metal piece is, that piece was missing. My hubby had to MacGyver this. <laughs> Thank goodness he's handy. So he MacGyvered this and he 
put a piece of one of these in that he had from an old flies electric fly swatter that he uses around the house he hates flies and he just jippered that in cut it up put it in and now it's working fine which is nice so yeah this is just a little ring light that clips open and goes onto the front of my phone which gives a bit of extra light in those certain areas in the house or wherever I am that you know you end up with shadows or it's not quite light enough and then you can just use this to just lighten things up a bit like that I feel like a ghost though it feels like it washes me out completely <laughs> so I will keep it off because the natural light in this room is perfect so yeah those were my birthday presents from my hubby very sweet of him and yeah I think I'm hoping they'll make a, a significant enough difference that you will all notice yeah i think that's it for today if anything exciting or special happens i'll try and grab it on my phone <laughs> but for now i think we're gonna call it a day it is oh it's only half past one now but it's it's half past one on a sunday so i still need to edit this and get it up for the night um little man is doing much better i'm grateful the meds are working um yeah i'm just gonna be doing washing cooking food and all those wonderful mommy things and wife things <laughs> so i'll see you guys again too bye